Hello and welcome to Lloyd South Lakes BMW. Today we have this X2 S Drive 20i M Sport X. This car's finished off in Sapphire Metallic. It's a February 2020 registered vehicle and some lovely options on which we'll run through with you now. This being the M Sport X, you've got some lovely colour color contrasting trim. First of all, around that front bumper, that sort of matte anthracite finish that sort of flows around the vehicle. That leads up to the adaptive LED headlights on this vehicle. That's the system where it will turn the headlights based on your steering wheel input to help brighten the road ahead of you. Moving around to the 20 inch double spoke alloy wheel. It's bicolor finish. We've got this diamond cut front with that almost matte gray finish, which slightly ties into the wheel arch then, part of the M Sport X as I mentioned. That flows around the sills and around the rear wheel arch as well. Got the chrome surround on the windows and the roof rails, tying very nicely to the front kidney grills and the front headlights. On the rear, we've got some protection glass, so that's the rear tinted windows. It adds a privacy for the rear passengers. Also, a UV element there to help protect them from the harmful UV rays. It helps keep the cabin a bit cooler on those hot days. Finish off the rear, so that ambient sight lower, split of that lower diffuser sort of style. Standard on the X2 is a power tailgate. That could be offered by the key as I've just done so. And it's quite a compact car, this. It's a lovely, nice deep boot. 40 20 40 split folding rear seats, very versatile. Bit of a lip here, but what we've got really nicely is this false floor which can be lifted up and clicked out of the way if you need to increase the boot capacity. Also, very handy space to keep items. It does go down really deep actually. We've got the first aid kit as well tucked down there at the moment. Moving to the rear of the car, we've got the black coat of leather running throughout the vehicle. There's a lovely grey con contrast stitching. There's a lovely perforation as well running for the centre part of the seats, all four seats. Got an aluminium headscan finish on the door trim there that also runs through to the front of the car. So just see the ambient lighting working there as well on that on that door card above the trim finisher. Rear passengers have some ventilation control there and two additional USB ports at the back. Here's the front of the car. You can see that this aluminium hex can finish. It's a bit better light here, a sort of matte. Slightly anthracite finish to it. Got the ambient lighting through the top and this nice pearl chrome finisher underneath. This car also has the Harman and Kardon sound sound hi fi multi speaker system, fantastic sound quality. At the front, we've got the M Sport seats. You're getting that same perforation through the seat, that lovely contrast stitching. There's a great figure hugging. Sport seat and lots of adjustment there to get it really set up to get nice and comfortable. Stepping into the car, the X2 we've got this lovely backlit LED dashboard, almost looks digital to an extent, but it is analog, which because the back LED quality, very crisp, clean, clear display and we do have like a lower LCD panel here to give you a fair bits of information about the vehicle trip information you also get some turn by turn navigational information as and when the navigation system is on and working and you can see obviously you've got a speed limit display there as well central screen we've got the ID6 system this is a touchscreen system so you can toggle through we've got these six live screens here you can set these up to give information that's relevant to you that you want to see uh, so you can click through Onto things like the full navigational screen. You also have voice activation 
and they've tried and tested BMW iDrive dial as well to control that. Moving down, got some of the audio controls here, fast active favourite buttons. Also got a CD player in this car, also along with the digital radio, Bluetooth connectivity for your phone. All the heated controls, dual zone climate control, along with heated front seats as well. There we go for the both front passengers. Moving down, handy little cubby hole there for your cop holders, and there's additional 12 volt socket there so you can charge more devices if needed. Running down to the sports automatic gearbox, it does have a manual mode as well, so you can put that in manual mode and use the gear selector to select gears or the panels behind the steering wheel. Here we've got the iDrive dial with the, the sort of favorite easy access buttons there, automatic handbrake, and we've also got the different driving modes. This car has also rear parking sensors, has an audio tone and a visual reference there as well. The steering wheel left hand side here we've got the cruise control and speed limit control there on the left hand side. Right hand side got voice activation, volume controls, also a phone answering device there as well. This car has 2,326 miles in it as I mentioned it's a February 2020 vehicle. Some nice options on this M Sport X being the top level model in the X2 range. And the black metallic set the paintwork does really finish off some of this lovely contrasting trim that the M Sport X model has. Hope this video has been of use. If there's anything else we can do to help, please do get in contact. And one of our sales executives will be more than happy to help.